Hey guys, Scott here. This is going to be EGR, PCV valve, EVAP canister, EVAP purge solenoid. I mean, sorry, EVAP vent solenoid. And maybe DPFE for EGR. On this 2000 Ford F-150, I think it's a 5.4 liter, but let's take a look. Did I tell you to like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. First off, we're going to start with the PCV valve right there. That's the passenger side valve cover. Next off is going to be the EGR valve, which is tucked away right back here. It's got one vacuum line going to it. To the top. Part of the EGR system includes the DPFV sensor, which is these hoses to this connection right under this cover. That's how the computer checks to see if the EGR valve is working. Second part, third part, another part, is this uh, solenoid right here, which actuates the vacuum from the engine to the EGR valve. So this is the EGR vacuum switching valve, VSV. The EVAP canister vent solenoid is also right here on the firewall. You have the EVAP canister, uh, sorry, EVAP system service port on it. Last but not least is going to be the EVAP canister. EVAP canister on this one is located above the rear, or above the spare wheel in the back. How I check for them is right here between the frame rail and the bed. You can see the canister is right there. The circle part is the canister. To the left is a, uh, a vent, an ambient vent. On this side you have an electrical connection down there. But that's the canister right there, right on top of the spare wheel. Thanks for looking, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next one.